All right, so the first one is, did you know that in your gallery, you can set up a cover image for each album? All you have to do is open that album, then tap on the menu in the top right corner and say, change cover image. And now you can just choose any image from within that album, hit apply, and you've got a cover image for that album. Now this one's an old trick from the book, but if you use two finger swipe from the top edge, you get to see all settings together. And if you tap on the setting label, you can see details up front without actually going into settings. So let's say, you know, you wanna change your uh, sound profile, you can do that right here. If you want to connect to a different Bluetooth device, you can do that right here. Just tap on that label. It gets really useful. For example, if you tap on flashlight, you can change the intensity of the brightness by tapping on that specific label. So this is really helpful. Uh, the other thing is if you long press on one of these tiles, you can directly get inside that setting. So you don't have to go all the way into settings and then navigate to that specific setting. Just long press on that and you'll get into details directly. And guys, before we move on to the next one, your support is extremely important for me to be able to sustain the channel and grow it even more. All I request you to do is drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon, and that will help me a lot. Anyway, let's move on now. Next, you can use the native My Files application, which is the native file manager on your Samsung phone, to configure your OneDrive and Google Drive. So you can access your files from the file manager. Now this allows you to move files between cloud and your phone natively. So you don't have to first download from Google Drive and then you know save it in a specific location. You can also configure your FTP or SFTP servers and access files to a cloud storage from your phone's app. Now, what do you do if you directly have to access videos in your gallery? You can get a shortcut and just tap on it and you just get to see videos that are in all your albums. Now to do this, go into your gallery, tap on the videos icon. And when you do that, you'll be able to see all the videos, but at the top right corner, there's a menu which says add to home screen. That's it. Now it's really amazing that I still see a lot of people not using Wi-Fi calling on their phone. So if you go to your phone dialer, go into settings, there's something called as Wi-Fi calling, which you need to enable. This improves your voice call experience. You know, so if you have low signal strength, uh, Wi-Fi calling just helps you improve that call quality experience. And if you're in a low network zone, try doing this and see if this helps. It's really great. Now I have a 500 Mbps connection at home, but if I'm on my Wi-Fi network, my phone does not get more than 50 or 60 Mbps, depending on whether I'm connected to a 2.4 gigahertz network. Maybe it goes up to 100 when I'm connected to a 5 gigahertz network, but that's it. I still have a 500 Mbps connection. Now, if I use a type C to LAN cable connector, which you can get on Amazon very easily for real cheap, I get LAN connection instead of Wi-Fi. And now I get full throttle upload and download speeds. You know, I'm able to leverage my full bandwidth that I'm getting from my telecom or my ISP network. Now this is specifically useful for me when I'm on video calls or conference calls, uh, you know, I'm using Zoom or Skype. And when I'm downloading stuff from, let's say Netflix, you know, I'm just trying to offline some videos in high quality. It is super, super fast. Definitely try this out. Now, I know we all know that there's something called as linked to Windows on our Galaxy phones, especially the Note 20 but I don't think we're using it enough from a productivity standpoint. It's really great. I mean, you get all your notifications on your desktop so you can respond to them from your desktop. You don't have to pick up your phone for everything. You can read and send text messages from the desktop app itself. You can access your photos. You can download them on your computer. You can upload from here. You can access all your apps. It's as if it mirrors your screen in a specific window within your desktop machine. And that's it, you can just Use your phone as if you're using it on your, in your hand. And you can obviously make calls as, lo as long as you have uh, a Bluetooth set of earphones connected with your computer. Now, obviously this is only applicable if you've got a Windows machine that you're working on. You will need to use your phone app that comes in your Windows 10 computer. So just make sure you've got that. And then you've just signed into your phone using the same Windows uh, Outlook ID that you have, and it gets connected automatically. It just syncs on its own. Next, I know you can't lock your apps in Note 20, Note 20 Ultra, but you can hide apps. So if you long press on the home screen, go into settings, you can select apps to hide. And this does two things. One, it keeps those apps that you don't want people to use or access away because it's hidden. And the other thing is it just reduces clutter. So there are some apps that you don't want to see again and again on your app drawer, just remove them. And you know, your app drawer that way is a lot cleaner. 
And lastly, Bixby Routines. I think it's the most underrated feature on any Galaxy flagship phone. The level of automation and productivity levels that you can achieve by setting up Bixby Routines is amazing. Now I have done a full video explaining all of these routines and how you can set them up. A link would be on the top right corner, so there's a card, go through that video. But just look at the kind of stuff you can do. For example, if you open YouTube, it'll automatically do a few things. And when you close YouTube, it would reverse those settings. Now you can create your own routines. You know, you can add your own triggers and then things that your phone should do when those triggers take place. It's a lot to absorb, but it's so easy. And the way they've, you know, made the whole thing, it's really user friendly. I do have a couple of my own uh, routines that I've set up, for example, Super Battery Saver, which you can see is already active at the moment because I'm less than 30%. So it does a couple of things like enter power saving mode. I've got a good night routine. So between 11 and 8.40 in the morning, it does a couple of things like do not disturb, blue light filter is set, uh, is set to on, always on display is set to tap to show. There's auto rotate. So if I open gallery or YouTube, my screen orientation should be on auto rotate. So if in case I go into landscape mode, I should be able to rotate my screen on its own and so on and so forth. You know, I've got these routines set up, go through the video that I've made on Bixby routines. It's on the top right corner card. It's amazing. You'll be really surprised to see what it can do for you. And that's it guys. Those were some things that I think are lesser known or lesser used by, you know, you guys who've got these flagship phones. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one.